Hello, my name is Justin, and this is fairy tale number 10, The Dragon Painter. Chang was a painter, but not just any old painter. He was the most talented animal painter in all of China. If he drew a rabbit, you would think its nose twitched. When he drew birds, you could almost hear them sing. Now, it just so happened that the emperor needed someone to decorate his new temple. I want Chang, he decided. Chang promised him a splendid mural with four dragons, one for each wall. First, he began, he drew a pearl white dragon, breathing clouds of steam. It was perfect except for one thing. Its eyes stared blankly out. Chang had left them unpainted. That's odd, thought the emperor. The next dragon was jade green, with a fierce, spiky face and blank white eyes. Then came a sleek, scarlet dragon and a golden dragon with a long, twisting tail. But both of them had blank eyes, too. Chang turned to the emperor and bowed. Do you like your dragons, my lord? The emperor nodded. Magnificent, he said. But what about their eyes? Dragons are magical beasts, said Chang. If I paint their eyes, they will come to life. Poof, snapped the emperor. I order you to paint them at once. Chang was terrified, but he had to obey. With a trembling hand, he began to dot in the eyes. Thunder rumbled. As he finished, there was an air-splitting crash. A bolt of lightning had shattered the roof. The jade dragon blinked and lifted its head, its spiky nose cracking part of the temple. The pearl dragon yawned, sending out clouds of burning steam. Then they leaped off the walls and flew through the roof. Before the red and gold dragons could follow, Chang seized his brush and painted strong chains around their necks. The dragons roared and rattled the chains, but they couldn't fly away. So the emperor was left with just two dragons on his temple walls. But they were the most incredible painted dragons in all of China. The End Bye-bye.